If we could just have a drug that built a crap load of muscle but had no such androgenic side effects, it would be amazing. And in fact, this is now the reality because the brilliant minds at the Regeneron Pharmaceuticals Corporation have just such a drug and they have published research about it. And I want to tell you all about this drug until I'm just salivating about it. In fact, it's not just one drug. It's a combo drug therapy. It's two, two drugs at the same time. Travagramab, good luck saying that one, and Goretismab, good luck saying that one also. Who the f makes these drug names up? I swear to God, Scott, it, there's a high probability in my mind that a gentleman named Trevor and a gentleman named Garrett co-discover these drugs and they just named it after themselves. Well, uh, Trevor and Garrett's drug, that's what I'm calling it. Travagramab is a myostatin antagonist. I'll get to what that is in just a little bit. And Goretismab is an activin A antagonist. Both drugs work by reducing the activity of myostatin and activin A. Myostatin and activin A, their predominant roles in skeletal muscle are to cap, to hold down, to reduce how much muscle you grow at any given time. And when these drugs uncork those caps, reduce the activity of myostatin and activin A, you get this radical unleashing of completely natural, in a sense, muscle growth that your body wants to do all the time, but it has these two substances it makes itself, these two proteins, myostatin and activin A, capping this muscle growth all the time. What these drugs do is they just go and uncork them, you know, in a dose-dependent manner. The uncorking is partial and then complete if you take a crap load of these drugs. So these new drugs uncap your body's natural potential for muscle growth. 